So from an event perspective, these were the top events that your competitors were going to. Um, SaaS talk was actually a big event. Yeah, um, that I went just to that happened. last year. But we um, didn't have a, a we didn't sponsor it or have any kind of you just of walked that. like as an attendee. Yeah. Um, Salesforce World Tour, which happens quite a bit. Channel Con. Hmm. Uh, that's an interesting again. And then there is HubSpot inbound, sales 3.0, uh, growth hacker conference, gainsight pulse was an event. Hmm. Uh, the the, the uh, uh, ILT. Have- our customer success team went there, but huh. we again, we didn't sponsor it or, or try to use it to acquire customers. Some of your competitors were there actually. Wow. Um, the other one was ILTA, the legal technology association. A couple of your competitors were sponsoring that, hmm. uh, uh, law firms probably using proposals, um, and things like that. Midwest dreaming. This was an interesting one. Uh, do you know of this one? Midwest no, dreaming. Heard of them. It sounds like a, like a pop song or something like that. This is actually an event that happens that Salesforce community puts up. Hmm. Anyone that uses Salesforce would, well, like a lot of the practitioners would attend this. Wow. Pretty big event, um, which actually goes back to saying that your competitors are definitely doubling down on the Salesforce and the entire ecosystem. Yeah. And that's why they're sponsoring the Salesforce world tools going to or sponsoring Midwest streaming and things like that. Hmm. Interesting. Any of this stand out to you? It, I know you mentioned inbound, but which you guys went to and. Yeah. Idmail was the one this year that we did the most, we, we were the most, uh, we, you know, we went in as a sponsor and we really used it as a, as an acquisition uh, nice. channel and results are uh, remaining to be seen on that. I know yeah. there's a lot of leads from that conference. Um, I'm actually in, like surprised that there, most of these, I, a lot of these I haven't heard of Midwest dreaming, ILTA, Salesforce 3.0 channel con. Salesforce World Tour, I've never heard of. Um, yeah. And then other ones, actually, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that they're very kind of SaaS events, like SaaS stock growth hacker to a certain degree are um, tend to be early startup yeah. focused. Yeah, yeah. Very um, yeah it is. It, so Salesforce World Tour is actually a big event. Dreamforce is their main thing. Yeah. And then Salesforce World Tour, they do it in like cities like Chicago. New York, Chicago, Boston, like they basically go over the entire world. They do one in Toronto too. Um, so these are local focus. So if you have a big market in Chicago, for example, or Atlanta, yeah. you would sponsor that. Um, interesting. So that, that, that's, that's an interesting uh, channel con and ILTA are, are more non SaaS type businesses. Mm-hmm. A lot uh, of customers that are in channel partnership, uh, they would be going there. That's awesome. Now, looking at your competitors' events, uh, not competitors, ICP event, um, that was very interesting. Um, so HubSpot inbound was a common theme that was there. So that, that actually is a good validation that both your competitors are going and your customers are going. Um, Unbound CTA was an, actually an event that happened in Vancouver. Interesting. Uh, Dreamforce, a lot of your ICP is actually going to Dreamforce. Uh, I don't know if you are, are you guys attending Dreamforce? You know, we didn't do it this year. And yeah, kind of pulled out and we should go next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of your buyers are going, uh, it's pretty expensive. Um, so that's uh, a it's lot of a bit of a, uh, some, there's some dream force is kind of that fire hose, right. Of like that hundreds of thousands of people. And it's like the challenge there is how do you, how do you strategically set up the meetings and, or set up the outside events or parties to, to make sure you get the most value out of it. Yeah, no, that's a great thing. I, this, is, this is an interesting use case. I'll just quickly, I don't know if you know this. One of the big signals we track for our customers is events. Mm-hmm. So a lot of our mar- comp- clients, their marketing, what they do is a month prior to the event, they would tra- start tracking that event within Leadsift mm-hmm. because you do not get the attendee list from your, these customers. So they find out, okay, company X is going to Dreamforce and this, these are the two people who will be attending. So they run a very targeted email nurture campaign to book meetings ahead of time. Very interesting. So, so that might be an idea. That's an um, awesome idea. And, and the other thing, customer success, a lot of your ICP is interested in customer success. Um, again, their interests are broad, but customer success is a big interest. Contact center world was another one. A lot of salespeople are going, sales wow. leaders were going there. Never heard uh, of them. Yeah. Uh, Gartner CSO and sales leader conference. Chief sales officer, they, they, there's a conference. A lot of your ICP was attending that. So there might be some, some interesting overlaps there. 
Um, so now let me ask you the same question that I did with your, um, your content. If once I give this data to you, do you think this could be something that you, your event marketing team or whoever is responsible, would you play, pay closer attention to these events and see if it is possible to sponsor or attend them? Absolutely. Yeah. I would share it with uh, sales and marketing and, um, especially as we plan 2020 and we want to start because, you know, some of these are maybe earlier in the year or later in the year, but just really kind of come up with a, in a, this is something we had to do anyway. So I'm really excited to have this data because we, we were trying to get a meeting on calendar for us to sit down and actually start planning our strategy for events in 2020. 